Hey you guys, I am sitting here in the laundry facility at the Pete D's RV Park. This place, in Sheridan, Wyoming. This place is amazing. It is so, it's spotless. You could eat off the floors. They have these lovely folding chairs, two or three of them, and they have books. You can do book exchange. They ask you to take one and leave one. They have a table here for folding lots of signage and it is spotless this is the cleanest laundry room i've ever seen lots and lots of signage so you know what you're supposed to do how to use the equipment and so forth it's amazing i'm 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 kind of blown away they even have this pretty rug so now i'm going to talk to you about um the weather which <laughs> it bears noting. Okay. So, Abigail and I left the Central Valley um, on Tuesday, right? And we drove through uh, the gold country, up into Alpine County, through Markleyville, San Andreas, that whole area. Absolutely beautiful. Um, warm, you know, too warm. Lots of dead trees, but also, you know, lots of not dead trees. I mean, it was lovely. The next day, the place exploded into wildfire. Um, the towns we were driving through, some of them, you know, may not be there by the time this fire is over. Um, it's just astounding that we missed it by one day. Um, and, you know, information keeps coming in, like from friends of mine. I've got a friend who has family in San Andreas. They were on a mandatory evacuation. I think they put it to standby, but I don't know if they were evacuated or not. Um, Abigail, the friend we went to a visit up near Markleyville, he's in the path of that as well. Um, we drove past a high school that's no longer there. Uh, yeah, pretty scary. But here's the weirdest thing. No matter where we go on this trip, it's like, hot California weather. It's like we're in this bubble of hot California weather. No sooner did we leave California and that actually two awful wildfires started. Um, the one I was telling you about is called the Butte Fire and there's another one that exploded to over 50,000 acres in a 24-hour period just exploded. That's up above about a hundred miles above uh, Sacramento, San Francisco so yeah awful but okay so here we are um, we went through Utah it was hot and dry they had wind advisories hot dry weather advisories got into Idaho same thing hot dry get into Wyoming hot dry um, we have all along our path where we're driving where it used to be cool, like in the plains in the Midwest and over in the Northeast, um, you guys are going to get another heat wave. Um, <laughs> Abigail and I thought we were going to be escaping the California heat, but I swear to you, it's like we're inside this Glinda the Good Witch bubble, and inside our bubble is all of this hot California dry scary weather. It's like it's following us around the country. It is so crazy. Because there was a there was a cold front that came through before we left, hot. Now there's a cold, cold front coming through again um, through the west. Um, in you know our area, temperatures are supposed to drop in some places um, to 30 degrees lower than they were this you know this um, this past week. So, like Sacramento had 107 last week. They're supposed to be down into the 70s. Um, this upcoming week. So, so bizarre. Um, my heart just goes out to the people who live in that gold country area that we drove through. Um, you know, people were talking about having to, they didn't even have enough time to organize a real evacuation. People just were literally running for their lives. One guy was talking about how, you know, he grabbed his kids, his wife, the dog, whatever personal papers they could lay their hands on. They opened their livestock pins, hoping that the livestock would be able to run, and they just took off. I mean, they didn't have time to grab anything. So, um, yeah, you know what? Keep those people in your thoughts, thoughts and prayers, and let's pray for lots of rain to come through and quench some of this stuff. Um, 
as far as the Butte fire is concerned, that's over up over 125,000 acres now. And that is burning in an area that I have friends with that live there. They have um, cabins and stuff in that area. Um, it's burning very close to Sequoia Lake, which is where I spent every summer of my high school work working. I worked there. Um, it's you know they're going to try to save structures. They've been they've been able to hold the fire off from um, you know burning all around the lake but they don't know how long they're going to be able to do that. So, pray. Pray for Central California. Pray for all of the West because it's... Um, this is going to change change the, the topography pretty drastically. So, I'm sorry on that sad note, but um, I just wanted to tell you about how weird it is that all this heat is following us around. Talk to you guys later.